All right, guys. Welcome back to another scripting tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you about uh, billboard UIs. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, um, how do these work? What do they do? What are they? Uh, let's go over it. Okay. So, first things first. Leave a like on the video if you enjoy this, and subscribe for more awesome Roblox scripting tutorials every single other day. <laughs> and yeah. Um, also, turn on post notifications so you see every time I upload. So yeah, okay. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and insert a. I'm gonna okay. What I'm gonna do for this example is I'm going to make a person, okay, or I'm gonna insert a person, and then I'm going to put over their head a sign that says cop or beast or something like that. You get what I'm saying? So we'll do cop because I know the colors I wanna put. So yeah. All right. So we're gonna get our character. So we'll go ahead and look up into the toolbox cop. Now be careful when using free models if you actually use them in your game. They, oh, that's actually a nice car, wow. Uh, anyways, be careful when, when using free models if you put them into your game because sometimes they can have viruses, so be very careful, but yeah. All right, so as we can see here, we have our cop, no name cop, perfect. He has no scripts in him too, he doesn't look like. All right, awesome. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is insert a billboard GUI on his head because that's where we want it to be above. So we'll insert on his head, it's the easiest spot. So we're gonna go ahead and insert a billboard GUI. All right, now what a billboard GUI is, it's basically like, you know how you have like the name of a character? So like, like let's say you're, this was me right here, okay? Use code tap, by the way, you should use code tap, but let's say that was me right there, all right? You see that little thing above his head? That's a billboard GUI. It's not actually, but it's a built-in one, right? Um, and by default, whenever you name a model that has a humanoid in it, it's going to put a billboard GUI on top of that model. Um, so yeah, that's really a billboard GUI right there. That's what it is because you can see it turns and moves with me so I can read it on every direction, right? A surface GUI, you're only going to see it on one side, right? I won't see it on both sides. It's a surface GUI or also I won't see it from right here. You know what I'm saying? This I can because this is a billboard GUI. Anyways, that's what that is. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that name because it's going to just be covered up anyways. So I'm going to control Z and undo. All right, there we go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and insert a text label into our billboard GUI. And as you can see, it's already starting to scale. It's it's ever the farther you get out, the bigger it needs to get um, so you can see it, right? Um, so that makes sense. But if you don't want it to be able to see from across, like okay, let's say you're all the way over here, I don't want to see that cops the, the thing above his head. I'm way too far. I don't care that much, right? <laughs> so what you'd want to do is um, change the basic property called max distance right now it seems to infinite we're gonna set it to wait no we're gonna set it to um 50 and now basically what that is is from where your camera is if it's 50 studs away you will not be able to see it so yeah pretty simple right pretty cool pretty simple all right awesome all right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and do, 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 do. I'm trying to think. Okay, now what we're gonna do is go ahead and actually make it look a little bit nicer, right? Because right now it looks a little weird. So we're gonna go ahead and first of all, um, make this text button the size of the billboard GUI. So we're gonna use scale for that as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale it all the way. And now it's the size of the billboard GUI. Because billboard GUIs have the size right here, which is 200 by 50. Alright, so we'll make it 200 by 200 and now it's square. Okay? Uh, but we don't want a square actually, so we'll keep it at 50. Okay, perfect. Alright, now what we're gonna do is. Um, oh, also, I should explain Adornies right now. Um, yes, Adornies. Okay, so what are Adornies? Okay, Ador knees. Alright, it's it's Ador's knee. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm really stupid, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Um, what a Dorney is, it basically it's it's what do you want the billboard GUI to be showing on? Because I can actually have my billboard GUI in the workspace and then just adorning it to the head, right? And now it's there. Even though it's not a child of the head, it's a Dorney to it, so that's where it actually matters, right? So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Also, if you wanna if you wanna have like a if you want if you want the GUI to be an like to be active and like able to click it and stuff like that, you need to make sure it's a door need because if it's not a door need, then not only will it 
I don't think it renders, but not only will it not render, but you can't click on it, okay? It, it won't it won't work. So you need to click it, you need to door need to something. Um, that's the first step. So we can still put it inside the head, but just make sure it's a door into the head as well. So yeah. Okay, another property of it is always on top. So if you want it always on top, that's pretty cool. For this reason, we, we actually will want it on top, so we'll, we'll do that. And then what we're gonna do actually too is go ahead and add an offset up here. Um, there's a studs offset, so we'll make that two on the x-axis, or on the y-axis, and now you can see it's actually above our guy, right? Now, if we come out far here, it doesn't look that great, but uh, if we wanted to change that, we could. But as you can see, it looks it looks pretty good, I think. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and go text label right here, and we're going to change this to cop, and then if you don't already use text labels, go watch my um, other tutorials. I have an entire series on GUIs. Definitely go check that out if it's your first one by me. But anyways, so we have Gotham Bold, um, and then we'll make it scaled. Oh, that looks really distorted. All right, that was an error. Um, anyways, but now we have a cop. Awesome. And now I'll change the background to even like a a blue. Right. That's what. That's what. Uh, perfect. Even matches. It's beautiful. 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 All right. Um, also, what happens if I do that? No, nothing. All right, cool, very cool. Anyways, that is that. It's pretty simple, right? And then you also things like studs, offset, world space. Um, honestly, I wouldn't mess with these right now, um, but it's kind of like the same thing, but there's a little slight differences. Like I said, um, as you can see, this this offsets from where it normally would be because if it's at zero zero zero, it's going to be on the head. But we offset it at two studs on the y-axis, so it went up two studs, um, which is like studs. If you don't know what studs are, you probably should. But like that's the, the size of these things, right? That's a stud right there. So if I insert a part and I have my move on one stud, that's a stud, right? This is one stud perfectly right here, okay? Because the size is one by one by one. And that's what Roblox units are measured in one stud. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, it all it did was move it up two studs, but yeah. Okay, that's pretty much that. There's also another property here like uh, specifies a player that the billboard were not rendered to. Um, I've actually never used this one before, but it's actually a pretty cool property, I guess. Um, but yeah. And then you have Z index behavior. Oh, have I ever explained Z index before? I don't think I ever have. I'll definitely be mentioning that in my next tutorial then. Um, but I'm not going to confuse you guys with that. I'm not going to confuse you guys with that on this tutorial because it doesn't make much sense. And then um, you have light influence. So you can even read right there. It says specifies the amount of influence lighting has on the billboard GUI. A, unit, a value of zero is unlit. A value of one is fully lit. Fractional values are in between. I think that's what it said. Yeah. All right. So I've never used this before, but it apparently has an effect not not to me but you know maybe it does i i don't know man i do not know um but yeah that's kind of cool and also oh wait that's why because i'm this back because we said the background transparency of the wait a minute okay never mind all right but yeah all right that's that's pretty cool pretty cool um i'm gonna end the tutorial here keep it in short don't want to confuse you guys too much don't worry about this for now um but this is, as you can see there, a vector two defined in studs that will offset the GUI from its current size. So if we mess with that, it, it's like the same thing, right? But it offsets the size. So yeah, I guess I don't worry about that for now, but yeah. All right, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm almost done, I'm almost done.